This is a thought experiment. Do you think the man standing inside a bucket on the ground could tie a rope around his waist and throw over a tree and use a pulley to pull himself up? So like you saw in the video, this thought experiment can work because what we have to do is we look at just the forces on the man. So if I look at my forces just on my man, I've got the force here going upwards. I have a force here from the tension of the rope going upwards. The force here, due to his weight, pull him towards the center of the earth. And here is a normal reaction force, which is a force for your feet from the ground. So if we look at just the forces on the man, because this here is a force on the rope, what we've got is two forces going upwards, so F plus F, a normal force going upward, minus, because it's going downward, MG. Because what we're looking at here is Newton's second law, F equals MA. The resultant force, or the difference in forces, is equal to mass times acceleration. So the difference in forces is, I did all of my upward forces minus my downward forces, it's going to equal my mass times by my acceleration. But if he loses contact with the ground, there no longer is that normal contact force pushing him up from the ground, so that's why our normal contact force becomes zero. So now if we look at it, if I want to calculate his acceleration, I can see I have 2 times F minus mg divided by his mass. So yes, he will accelerate. Follow me for more physics content like this.